Hey everyone and welcome to Electric Wheeler's YouTube channel. This here is Engwe EP2 Pro folding fat tire electric bike. As you can see, it perfectly fits into the trunk of a regular sedan. Although this e-bike with small 20 inch wheels may seem like a lightweight bike, it actually isn't. Weighing about 70 pounds, it's quite heavy, so be careful when lifting it and don't hurt your back. It just takes a couple of seconds to unfold the bike. Close the joints, unfold those pedals and you are ready to go. Before we hit on the road, let's quickly recap some main features and components of this e-bike. It has a 750 watt rear hub motor. It really surprised me how sharp this motor is. The motor has 80 newtons of torque and you can clearly feel when the motor kicks in. When you start pedaling or hit the throttle, there is a small delay at first, but then the motor comes in quite aggressively and starts to do its work. The battery is located inside the frame of the bike and has 615 watt hours of energy capacity. It takes about 6 hours to fully charge, which is quite an average time for charging a battery of this size. I really like that the battery is removable. It's really convenient when you keep your bike in the garage and want to charge the battery in the room. If we talk about the regular bike components, it has a Shimano Tony drive drain, which is not the highest quality, but it gets the work done. Mechanical disc brakes are not as good as hydraulic, but there is more than enough stopping power. The display is very nice. I think you can read there everything you need. However, for me there was one thing missing, the remaining mileage. It would be awesome to see how many miles I can cover with the current pedal assist level. Other than that, everything is there what a solid commuter bike must have. Fenders, bright LED lights and a rack. When talking about riding experience, honestly I really liked it. I am 6 feet 3 inches tall and I thought folding bike with 20 inch wheels is clearly too small for me. Actually I was wrong. The seat post and handlebar are very well adjustable to fit almost everyone. Teenagers, men, women, seniors, you name it. EP2 Pro has very good maneuverability. It's very easy to turn around in small area. Also, it is convenient to take corners. I tested out the five different pedal assist levels. The first one gives you very little assistance, about up to 10 km per hour, which is about 6 miles per hour. I also didn't use the second level much. My favorites are definitely level 3 and 4. When I was on level 3, the speedometer showed a speed of about 22 km per hour and on level 4 the speed was around 25 km per hour, which is approximately 16 miles per hour. When on level 5, the top speed I got was around 40 km per hour and the battery level started to shrink very quickly. 4 bars of battery level turned quite fast into 2 bars. Later, when I turned back into level 3, I got 1 bar back. But what was the exact remaining range? Unfortunately, we don't know. On their website, Engwe says that the range of EP2 Pro is about 45 miles. It's probably only possible in pedal assist 1. You definitely don't get such range when riding with full throttle using level 5 assistance. I think the more realistic range is about 30 miles when using an assist levels 2 and 3 and some occasional 4, but it's something I must test more. Usually you have to avoid uneven terrain with city bikes, but with Engwe it is different. The front suspension and 4 inch wide fat tires make even off-road rides possible. Of course, it's not a mountain bike and I wouldn't recommend going with it on some high speed downhill course, but on light gravel or the grass this e-bike can ride very easily. So the most important thing, what I like the most about this electric bike, is practicality. You can ride with it on different terrains. One bike suits the whole family and you can easily fold it up and put it in the trunk of the car. If you look for a practical commuter to go to work or school, then Engwe EP2 Pro is surely something you can consider. Of course, all the bike components are not the best possible level, 
but the bike costs about only 1200 bucks, so you can't expect those top-notch components. Anyway, Electric Wheelers definitely gives a thumbs up for this bike. If you have any questions, feel free to add those in the comments section. And if you liked the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.